If you guys haven't copped some already, pre-orders are now available for the Boosted Lucky Mexico Edition t-shirts. They're going to be a, you know, patch size right here and a design on the back of the shirt. If you guys want to support your boy in the channel, we have a lot of awesome things that we're trying to bring to the channel and your guys' support would mean everything and I appreciate everybody that's already grabbed some. You guys are killing it on that as far as everybody that's been, you know, following on the Instagram and Facebook. If you guys haven't done that also, go ahead and, you know, check out the Facebook and Instagram. That's where I post all the live updates, you know, little short video memes and stuff like that. And, you know, pictures of the car and all the other kind of stuff that isn't posted here on the channel. So, guys, help your boy out. Go grab some merch in the description or at this little link card right here, or whichever side it's on. And I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. RC Components, we are part of the team, baby. Let's go. That's clean, huh? All right. Shout out to RC Components. Look at those. That's clean, ain't it? Look how shiny it is. Now for me only. Team RC, baby. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be revealing the new wheels. If you guys have already been following the Instagram and Facebook, you've seen them. They're badass, and I'm really excited to get them on the car. Um, we obviously have to do... So what we have in the rear is a 15-inch um, beat lock wheel, and in the front, we have a 17-inch skinny. So on my current setup, I run an 18 in the front, which is a 4-star D5, and I run weld racing wheels in the back that are non-beat locks, and they're also on a 15-inch tire. But you can see the tires are pretty chewed up and you know pretty gone um we need to figure out something with the you know suspension to get the wheel to you know sit flush instead of you know sitting all kind of angled uh, because it is wearing the tire out unevenly but shout out to my boy herman you know we got some new tires over here that we're going to be putting on these rc components and let me go ahead and show you guys the new wheels best subscribers and friends in the world this is a gift uh, that I got from one of you guys for hitting 200,000. Uh, my homeboy Clint, I appreciate you, man, a bunch. Let's get it. Alright guys, these are the new wheels for the Hellcat. So these are the RC Component Exiles. These are 17 by 5s and as you heard that correctly, 17 meaning we're going to have to go down in brake size up front in order to run these wheels. In the rear, we have ourselves some 15 by 12s and this is the standard bead lock that comes with the wheel but what we will be doing is upgrading to the Heathen bead lock which I'll throw on screen for you right here so you guys can see. That is the bead lock we will be running with this wheel setup. Um, I may still do something with these, maybe paint them green, match the car. Comment down below what you guys think about that. Um, but these things are awesome and they are super clean. As you can see, it has an anodized finish around the outside and it looks to be a polished finish on this part or it's just machined, um, but it is definitely not brushed. It is very, very shiny and i'll show you guys how wide it is that's my hand that's how wide this rear wheel is um so i'm really excited to get these on the car these are meant for dodge vehicles 5x115 on the uh bolt pattern um so i'm really excited to get these on the car this thing is you know so heavy it won't stop rolling so like I said, I'm really excited to get these on the car. I'm really excited for this, you know, partnership that we have with RC Components now. Uh, they, you know, took a chance and have some faith in your boy. So we're going to make them proud, go out there and win some races and obviously now do it in style. And we won't also have to worry about the bead of the wheel spinning on the tire because now that is what this ring is for is locks. So I'll go ahead and take off this bead lock off of the wheel to show you guys what kind of pattern we're working with so that, you know, the tire stay secure on this rim 
and uh, show you some of the hardware that also comes with this. So I got my brother recording now. Um, as you can see, like I said, these are some really, really wide wheels. And if you look in between here, you wanna get the camera closer. You can actually see the space in between the bead, uh, the, in between the ring. You can actually see the space in between the ring and the actual rim. This is where the bead will sit inside of here. And I'll go ahead and take off the uh, ring. So to take these, so to take the hardware out, you'll need um, a 12 point, and this is a 5 16 They come with washers on the back side of it so that it doesn't get stuck inside of the actual um, you know, rim. I'm trying to take them off. These wheels will already come with the valve stems pre-installed, and you can see that they are metal on the valve stem. Very, very nice hardware. And they also serialize and date when your wheels were made. These are 100% made in the USA at RC Components in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And after you mount these wheels, <laughs> you own them, like how they say on the stickers. I'm trying to keep them from hitting each other. So you want to get up close so I can take this off. That is what the underside of the wheel is going to look like. You can see here, there's a bunch of serrations, all these lines, they're kind of angled, you know, so that they're very, very sharp and they bite into the bead. That is also um, listed in on here so that it locks, you know, that bead and they also do look really good without the bead lock being on there. Um, these are the, you know, machine center caps and they are also O-ring so that they are going to, you know, stay, you know, uh, they're gonna keep water out and any moisture. Cause I know if you guys know about any wheels um, back in this uh, section, usually there is a lot of rust that can build up, but they're O-ring so that it won't, you know, seep through. Um, you can see back here, this is where all the hardware is installed. Um, you have hardware here also on the front. So this is a two-piece wheel. And these wheels are SFI certified, spec 15.1. Um, there you go. And all of RC Components wheels that are in the drag you know, uh, sector are all SF SFI certified. And like I say, these are 100% made in the USA. Even the material that they source is from the USA. And you know that's how you know you got some really good quality wheels because they're going to take pride in their work so um i hope you guys like these wheels uh comment down below what you guys think about them in the comment section i'm really digging them you know i really like the fronts and i really love the rears uh something different not everybody you know everybody and their mama is out here running welds ford stars and bellix you know not that many people you know in my sector are running rc components and you know we got to change it up so I'm very blessed to be a part of the RC comp team and you know, we got some awesome badass wheels now. So we'll go ahead and mount these up on those tires over there and um, you know, see how it looks, you know, all mounted up and everything. So. Take some WD-40 here. Push it all down and there you go. So now we'll mount the B-lock on there and that's about how she look. That is meaty and <laughs> that looks clean as hell. Oh, I'm so excited.
All right, guys, so it's pretty labor intensive, you know, tightening down this beadlock. You gotta make sure that number one, you're going across it evenly. So, you know, one, two, three, four, all the way across this beadlock. I know you guys saw that gap that was on there before where it was pretty thick. Um, it is completely, you know, sandwiched together, which is what you want so that it'll seal all the air. I don't have my torque wrench with me and um, I just kind of did it all by hand and tried to not over torque these bolts. Uh, there's, a, there's a specific sequence you're supposed to follow in torque specs, um, but we'll do that when we install the other beadlock ring. Um, but we're gonna fill this one up with air, see if it you know holds it and it will pop out the um, wheel on the other side. So it'll, you know, big old spider. So we're gonna go put some air off in this tire, um, get it to pop over the bead and, you know, see how it is. So it, it should look pretty, pretty sick. Um, we don't have any tires for the 17s right now, unfortunately, but we'll get some and then we gotta also get the brakes. Uh, but these are gonna look, these are gonna look super mean on the back. I'm super excited, they look clean, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're up here. We're gonna try to see if I did this right and that it holds all the air. Um, so what we'll need is to see if it's going over the bead or not. Me. I'm all right, y'all. So I'm glad I didn't give up on myself. Uh, if you're doing tires at home, use some kind of grease. Um, this is some STP all purpose grease. You can get this from AutoZone. I ended up putting this on the actual, um, you know, lip of the wheel instead of just using some WD 40. This worked a lot better and it kept it lubed up long enough for when it so whenever I took it up there to the uh, gas station I could you know fill the tire up with enough air and it pop over on the bead man those things look good team RC and you can see how stretch they are so we're going to be able to use up all of this contact patch Man, these wheels look good shout out rc components boy all right y'all so these are the rc component rear 15 inch by 12 wheels for the dodge hellcat y body this is what's going on the car really excited to get these on they look sweet you can see the sun reflecting on them and everything um they are stretched like i said because they are 15 by 12 so you can see where it's flat over here and then starts to stretch out over the wheel nothing crazy but nonetheless um these things look badass um i'm glad i didn't give up on mounting them you know myself like i said all it's going to take is some assembly lube you know on the inside you can see where some of it is all you know still in there i gotta clean it up but you want to make sure that you mount the tires in the right direction so that they're both going the same way but opposite and we're all good so once we get in you know our lug nuts and we're also going to be running some different bead locks so um once we get all that stuff in we'll make another video i just wanted to make uh, make sure that i brought this you know to you know everyone's attention that we're team rc we got them on board wheels look amazing and i'm really excited to you know have them on the build and supporting the channel so um all right <laughs>